Hello everyone and Merry Christmas and welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Originals. And for today's video, we will be featuring the largest known giraffe by weight, the LEGO compatible custom Megafauna Sivatherium. But first of all, I'd like to thank YouTube.com Audio Library for this awesome background music. And of course, please like, share, and subscribe, and also hit that notification button. Just click on the icons below. Thanks everyone! The Guesses PC Contest winners will be announced at the end of the video, but first, here is how to join. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and then click on the community link to see all my posts. we're still around. Well anyways, let's proceed with making our the Sivatherium. And here is the Sivatherium on its um, kit patching portion. Then after that, I made some uh, changes by sculpting and then already started with the painting of this um, creature. Now, the Sivatherium is actually basically just two tones of um, yellows and browns and also white on the underbelly. After that, I just let it dry and I actually base it off from this photo. Additional details were actually added once the uh, base paint is actually dried and this would include um, stripes on the neck, stripes on the thighs and also the legs and also a blackish um, color on the entire back of the Sivatherium. I just added on several more details and that finished the uh, figure and that's it for the, the making of this Sivatherium. It's time for us to have a sand bricks. You can do it and let's vote in. Now let's count the number of parts this figure has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 because the back portion is actually detachable as well. Okay, so let's start building. Let's attach the head to the neck portion. Once that is done, let's already connect all the extremities to it. Let's first connect the hind legs the left and the right and then let's proceed to connect the um, four legs the right or I mean the left and the right and that's it that completes the Sivatherium I'm really loving the way it looks because it's very similar to the Okapi now it's time for us to move on to the next portion of this video this is the closer look Come here, come here, Sivatherium. Don't be shy. Come on and eat this carrot. Alright. Way to go, Usher. Now you've made friends with your copy. Oh, I mean, the Sivatherium. Hmm. Well, anyways, moving on with the closer look. Let's go into position. The first time I heard of the Sivatherium was when I was playing Zoo Tycoon 2 and uh, it is one of the megafauna creatures that I actually really really like. It is actually based off from the photo that I'm showing below. It is a very nice depiction of this Sivatherium and I think uh, the Paleo artist did it well. Usher will be back later for some size comparisons but for now let us move on with the closer look. And uh, for the closer look, let's just take a look at this on uh, many different angles. You can see here that it has this uh, ossicone on the head and it has this some sort of antlers. I'm not sure if those are also ossicones but uh, since it's a giraffe so it most probably is. Uh, it can turn its head 360 degrees and it can move its neck down like so when it wants to feed or maybe drink from a watering hole. The legs of the Sivitarium can likewise move like so and it can be um, posed in many different positions. The tail is rubberized like most of my megafauna creatures and it has this um, two studs on the back. Alright, so let's play with it a bit. So I'm trying to position it like so. If you put it on a base plate, it can actually um, uh, be positioned or posed like that or in a running position and that's about it for the Sivatherium. Let's now proceed with size comparisons. Now for the size comparison, of course, I will be bringing out Usher. Usher, come here. 
Alright, so don't be shy. Come near the sympathetorium. So although the sympathetorium is not as tall as the giraffe, it is actually the largest giraffe known uh, because of its um, weight. It's two times the height of Usher as well as two times the length of a minifigure as well. So looking at it and the picture here, uh, you can see that uh, it would actually be the same proportion as well as the same size as that of a real sympathorium. So I'm very happy with it. So it is now time for us to compare the sympathorium with other megafauna creatures that I have which are hoof or undulates. And for the first victim, this is the quagga. Now, you can see that the quagga is definitely smaller than that of the sympathorium. The quagga is most relative to or related to the modern day zebra. It has these uh, certain stripes that are white and uh, it is in a constant background of a brown fur. Okay, so you can see that definitely the size or the height of the sympathorium is very much different or uh, is much um, higher than that of the quagga. Okay, so moving along, another undulate which is the elasmotherium. Now, as you can see, the elasmotherium is actually a rhinoceros. Uh, from the past, it is usually known as the uh, Siberian unicorn. And definitely, although the Sivotherium is um, higher or taller than that of the Elasmotherium, the Elasmotherium is definitely heavier built. So most probably, it would be um, heavier than that of the Sivotherium. Okay, so enough of the uh, comparison between the two. Let us now move on to the next undulate, which is the Paraceratherium. The Paraceratherium is known as the largest known land mammal ever to have uh, existed and just take a look at it. It's very tall and it's um, bigger in bulk and also um, in length with that of the Sivotherium. Although the Sivotherium is already considered the heaviest giraffid, this is indeed the largest uh, land mammal that have ever existed. So. Taking a look closely, you can see the head is very different because they're not really the same species or the same family. Okay, so what do we have next? We have Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer's best friend. This is the Megalosaurus. <laughs> Just kidding. So, Merry Christmas again, everyone. Now, the Megalosaurus is uh, not really a reindeer, although it really has uh, this large antlers and uh, although it's still smaller than that of the Sivotherium, just take a look at that um, antler. It uh, really swallowed the, uh, the Sivotherium hole. It's really large and uh, it is I think the, um, the only creature or the, the creature that has the largest antler ever recorded. If Santa was a geek like me and he likes prehistoric creatures, maybe he would want the Sivotherium and of course the Megalosaurus pulling out his sleigh on a Christmas day. <laughs> well anyways, let's put out the undulates that I have so far so that um, we will have a quick roll call. But before that, take note that all these um, creatures has their own videos at the moment and you can check them out at the uh, Extinct Bricks playlist under the megafauna folder all right so maybe we can start with the roll call let's start with this this is the paraceratherium next elasmotherium megalosaurus quagga and sympatherium and that's it for the roll call now it's time for us to move on to the next portion of this video this is the last looks now, the name Sivotherium actually came from Shiva's beast, meaning Shiva, supreme Indian god, and Therion, meaning beast, Shiva's beast. The Sivotherium actually lived in the late Miocene to early Pleistocene period around 7 to 0.8 million years ago and is under the Jurassic. It can grow to a height of 9.8 feet and would weigh 1,250 kilograms. Wow, that's heavy. Well anyways, that's it for the video on the Sivotherium. I hope you like it. The Sivotherium enclosure is now ready for the visitors to view. Enjoy! 
The guest PC contest winners will be announced this time by DGX for the Christmas season. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, Alan. And these are lucky picks: All Amigos, Gos Van Legos, Chuy Jara, Zenjuan Ku, Hero at Maja, Carnivores VR, Vigisha One, Copper Glochovia, Muhammad Abdullah the Mosasaur, Tyrannosaurus Animation Studio. Congratulations! Top 10! Sir Cognier Gunter. Top 9! Sean Seaver Corganilia. Top 8! Nara the Sea Ice Wing. Top 7! Sour Mars. Top 6! Isla Christmas Catch. Top 5! The Jurassic World Gang. Top 4! The Acro 34. Top 3! Mandy Amar. Top 2! Miguel Philip Eason. Top 1! And GCL! Congratulations everyone! See you at the next Yes PC Contest! Thanks to the X. Also, our babies Mora and Asher has their own vlog now, The Adventures of Mora and Asher. Please watch their videos and subscribe to their channel as well. Thanks everyone! Please also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and here in YouTube. And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar!